What's up, Raptors fans? Welcome to the Warriors Report. We have some very interesting news that came out this morning regarding the Toronto Raptors. Now, we know Malcolm Brogdon was traded to the Boston Celtics, but before that happened, the Indiana Pacers approached him, asking him whether he would like to go to the Toronto Raptors or the Boston Celtics. We know he chose the Boston Celtics, but there is so much more stuff to uncover here. I will be breaking that down for you guys in today's video, as well as I'm going to discuss what Brian Windhorst went on to say about the Toronto Raptors. He made a very bold statement on ESPN yesterday, so I'll be playing that video for you guys and discuss that as well. So if you're ready to watch this video, guys, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to hit the subscribe button as well, that would be very much appreciated. I also have some exciting news to announce, guys. I will be doing a Yahoo Fantasy draft for this channel as well i know raptors digest did it last year i was actually thinking about doing one as well i didn't want to copy them so shout out to them i'm doing an auction draft as well so i'm sure you guys are very curious as to what that may be if you're not sure you can comment down below i will be linking that uh down in the comment section so if you want to join a limited to 12 players right now we'll see how many people we can get in the league but if more people want to join i can always increase the capacity as well so if you want to join it is going to be going on tuesday 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 Eastern time. So if you want to join, that'll be fun as well. So with that being said, guys, let's get into today's video. Now, as you guys know, I do like to give out shout outs on my channel. And for today's video, the shout out goes out to Ha. So Ha, thank you so much for supporting this channel to likes and comments. Now, let's break down the full article of what Malcolm Brogdon said, because I've been viewing a few different links and some people had said the Toronto Raptors had a place, a deal in place. Some people said that he had an option of going to the Raptors or the Boston Celtics. So what exactly is going on? What are the details? Did the Raptors actually offer a player in return for Malcolm Brogdon? Well, let's discuss this article here where he went on a radio show to discuss what he said about this stuff. Now, he said at the end of the day, we knew there was Boston. We knew Toronto. We knew DC. Brogdon said of his trade options. DC fell off after the draft since they were thinking about trading that 10th pick for me. Toronto and Boston popped up. We had a choice to pursue. There wasn't an offer on the table yet from either of them, but the Pacers came to me and said we could pursue either of them. Which one would I rather pursue? I chose Boston. The reasoning behind going with the Celtics over the up-and-coming Raptors was pretty cut, clear-cut for the 29-year-old veteran. I thought this team was the further along, Brogdon said, of the Boston they have a superstar in Jason Tatum and probably another superstar in Jalen Brown as well. I thought it would be a great fit for me because I wanted to win right now. And I know people are going to jump into conclusion, guys, and say that we don't need Brogdon. He's injury prone. It's a good thing we didn't trade for him. And also, they're just going to say stuff like, oh, NBA players don't want to come to Toronto. Guys, let's be honest. We can be truthful and honest with ourselves. Boston definitely looks like the sexier option right now. They just came off of going to the championship finals. There were a few wins away from winning it all. So I can see why he chose them, and that's fine. But there's also interesting taking into consideration. Again, we don't know how much Toronto was actually considering trading for Brogdon. I know he said there was no trade offer, but we do need to take into consideration that Malcolm Brogdon is making $22 million a season. So this is crazy to think because the Raptors last season, or even in the offseason, they didn't have a lot of guys they can throw in to match salaries or even get close to that $20 million range without including one of their starters, a.k.a. Fred Van Vliet, a.k.a. OG Ananobi, a.k.a. Gary Trent Jr. So, so this becomes really interesting because now do the Raptors potentially make a trade further along? And I'm going to tie this up in just one second, guys. I want to play this video of Brian Windhorst and what he went on to say about the Toronto Raptors yesterday. The Raptors will be a spoiler in the Eastern Conference, which they were also last year, yep. but everybody ticks off teams that they think will win the East. Nobody talks about the Raptors, and the Raptors are primed to make a midseason trade. So I would say my hot take is watch out for the team north of the border to, to, to create some havoc in the East this year. Now, quite interesting that he said the Raptors could make a midseason trade. Now, there's several things to take into consideration here. First things first, talking about Malcolm Brogdon making that $22 million. Were the Raptors seriously again? I know there was no offer in place and we can speculate all we want, but the Raptors would have had to throw someone like a Gary Trent Jr. So again, we don't know the interest from the Raptors side of view. I know the Indiana Pacers said those could be two teams we pursue, but obviously there had to be some interest from the Toronto Raptors as well, or those two teams in particular would not have been brought up. So this really begs the question, will the Raptors break up the starting five and potentially trade one of maybe Gary Trent Jr. or Fred Van Vliet? And I say this because they're going into their contract seasons. I know they have player options, but there's undoubtedly no doubt in my mind that those two players are going to look for a bigger raise 
in the offseason, salaries are increasing, and we know Fred Van Leet's going to want a bigger piece. So is Gary Trent Jr. So could the Raptors potentially make a midseason trade and trade off Gary Trent Jr.? Now, the reason I focus more on Gary Trent Jr., even though in my last video we know how well the Raptors do offensively with him in the starting lineup, is the fact that, let's be honest, Masai Ujiri has gone into three different press conferences, very long press conferences, and three players he continuously mentioned being part of this Raptors core was Pascal Siakam, OG Ninobi, and Fred Van Vliet. One name that was continuously missing from that was Gary Trent Jr. And it really makes you question whether or not he's in the long-term plans. And maybe the Raptors look to trade him during the midseason. Now, I also see this because there's a really exciting young player coming into the draft next season. As many of you guys have know, Victor Rembanyama. And maybe perhaps a lot of teams that aren't tanking by midseason if they don't start off so hot. And maybe they decide that they want to tank for Victor Rambanyana, Rambanyama excuse me, and also some other players in the draft. Because maybe they're in that middle tier where they're 6 to 8 range and they don't see their core being a championship level team. So maybe they decide to blow it up. And I think this makes a lot of players available. And I'm not just saying this because of what Brian Windhorst said. I also do firmly believe that if there's certain teams that feel like they can't win the championship, why not tank for a guy like Victor, who is known, who's already getting so much noise around the league for what of what he's capable of, not only offensively, not only because of his size, but he's also a great defensive player. So I could definitely see, see a lot of teams starting to tank at the second half of the season. And a few names I do want to mention, guys, in terms of midseason trades, I know we talk about Gary Trent Jr. One name I could see the Raptors definitely pursuing, and this has been linked, to the Raptors during the offseason was Shea Gilgis Alexander. And uh, even though Oklahoma City Thunder and SGA have come out and said that there's some mutual interest and they both plan on staying together, if there's a sexy offer made with a few picks, you don't think Oklahoma City Thunder would take that? I think they would absolutely take that in a heartbeat. And obviously, the Raptors have shown interest in SGA. And Nick Nurse has also coached him on Team Canada as well. So I could definitely see him potentially being someone the Raptors could look to acquire. Another name I could really think of, and I know this is not going to go well over with a lot of people, Kevin Durant. Now, the reason I say this is not because the Boston Celtics will, or excuse me, I should say the Brooklyn Nets, We'll look to blow it up, but more so because Kyrie Irving is a free agent next year. So if by midseason, the Brooklyn Nets are not doing so well and they're potentially in that seventh, eighth spot, just maybe Kevin Durant becomes frustrated with the Brooklyn Nets. And you know what? He decides he wants a trade again because, and I see this because Kyrie Irving is not coming back to the Brooklyn Nets. You saw what happened last season. You can talk about, you know, vax and unvax all you want. I'm not going to get into that, but they didn't let him practice. They went through a lot of stuff with him, and he obviously isn't going to come back to the Brooklyn Nets. So if the Brooklyn Nets don't win a championship this year or not even are at the top of the standings, I could definitely see Kevin Durant asking for a trade. I mean, you really think about Kevin Durant's situation in Brooklyn. Once Kyrie Irving leaves, he's stuck there with Ben Simmons. He's definitely going to watch a trade, whether that's midseason, whether that's offseason. And we know the Raptors have shown interest. So I could see the Raptors still being in pursuit of Kevin Trant. So those are just some of the names. Another dark horse I will throw out there, guys. I know it's unlikely because they had just signed contract extensions. I see someone like a Bradley Beal potentially being someone the Raptors could target. He is someone who's a really good scorer. We know he's put up, I believe he's put up that one season where he had 30 points per Average 30 points during the season. So he could be a sexy name that the Raptors could look to trade for. The only obvious issue is, will the Washington Wizards move from him? And will Bradley Beal want to come to Toronto again? So that's just one of the things. Another name I've talked about on this channel is Damian Lillard. Now, again, he's he's similar. In, he's a very similar situation to Bradley Beal, where he said that he wants to stay with his team. But if both of those teams really struggle, you have to really question their frustration and whether or not those players would potentially look to ask for a trade. Again, the only issue with Damian Lillard, again, is the salary issue. We would have to include someone like a Pascal Siakam, or at least include two of our starters. So that becomes a little bit of an issue, but we never know. This is going to be a fun season. We'll see what happens, but I do want to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think of all this news surrounding Malcolm Brogdon? Are you butthurt about the fact that he chose the Boston Celtics over the Raptors? I know people are going to say, well, he's injury prone. We didn't need him, guys. Let's be honest. He would have been a great addition to the Raptors. And what do you think of Brian Windhorst stating that the Raptors could take look to make a midseason trade? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below. And there is no trivia question for you guys today, unfortunately, guys. I do want to give a few of you guys an option to get a shout-out. I know not everyone gets a chance to 
answer the trivia question right away. So if you do want a shout out, you can just comment down below. I'll give you a shout out in my next video. So that will be it for today's video, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. What's up, Raptors fans? Welcome to the Warriors Report. We have some very news in <laughs> or the Boston Celtics, and we know he chose the Boston Celtics. So for today's video, I'm going to be dis dis the news was that the Brian Windhorse, not the Brian Windhorse, Brian Windhorse went on the e e s ah what the Raptors would me have offered the Boston Celtics, or I should say, welcome.